Hi there, I'm Jim Casella and I'm here at uh, Tapspace World Headquarters in Portland, Oregon and just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of the new Korg Nano Key 2 keyboards which we just received a shipment of. Uh, the Nano Key 2 is a small, very small, uh, USB powered uh, MIDI controller keyboard. You can see it has uh, two octaves of keys and uh, they've basically redesigned the Nano Key, which was also very popular. And the Nano Key 2 has primarily these keys are uh, of much better quality than the original series, if you were familiar with that. And um, since we just got them in and wanted to make you aware of them, thought we'd give you just sort of a quick peek of uh, what it looks like. So, um, yeah, check it out. Okay, so you can see here this is my uh, sort of standard Mac keyboard with a Nano Key 2, which is this new black one here. Uh, it comes in two colors, black and white. This is the old, original Nano Key, Nano Key 1, in the white color. Um, so size-wise, you can see, um, as I'm grabbing it, how small this item is. This is actually my laptop right here. It uh, is actually smaller than my 15-inch MacBook Pro here, so you can kind of get a sense of the scale. In terms of the thinness, slides into a backpack really nicely. Um, one of the coolest things on this Nano Key 2 is just how they have redesigned the keys. Uh, as you can see, they are raised from the surface, but one of the, probably one of the biggest complaints of the Nano Key 1, the original, uh, was these keys, which may be a little hard to see in the video here, but these are essentially just like computer keys that you might like find on your your laptop keyboard and so they tend to be really a little um, I don't know a little cheap or they, they can you can see on the edge like as you're maybe pulling it out of your bag these these keys can they can catch you know and, and you know like these things have been known to come off um, they are velocity sensitive uh, to, you know, to a degree. This is not exactly a super high-end keyboard, but um, anyways, I guess the point is that this Nano Key 2, uh, these keys are much more, um, you know, they are still kind of the same design. They're still plastic, um, but they're, they have a much, much more elegant feel. They're not, um, they, they definitely feel better made. Um, Here a little bit of the velocity sensitivity. Uh, I've got an octave up and down button here, so if I go up a couple octaves, we'll be back in our tenor octave. Uh, a couple other uh, things in here. They've got a, a sustain pedal, which is actually really nice. If we load in one of our virtual drumline sustain instruments, which uh, let's just go to like a vibraphone with sustain pedal control. Um, <clears throat> that will allow us to actually hear what would happen as if we had a actual sustain pedal <clears throat> on the instrument. So um, regularly, without a sustain pedal down, you're going to hear it as if the, the vibraphone is being muted. With the sustain pedal being held, and it's going to actually ring as if I've got the pedal down. I'm holding the camera with my other hand, so I'm not able to really give a good demonstration of this. But you'll notice as I let go of the sustain pedal, that all stops ringing. So that's kind of cool. Um, may not be uh, super important to a lot of you who are using virtual drumline, but um, it is a nice, uh, a nice new feature. But you do have full access to the range by hitting these octave up and down buttons, and you can see as I hit it again, the uh, color of the button changes. That's, I think, at the highest level there. You'll see it start to blink. You go down an octave, it just goes to flat red, down to more of an orange, green. Now we're in the middle, no lights are up. If I go down, you'll see the octave down button is green, then orange, then red, then flashing red. So you get the full range of, 
of a MIDI keyboard just with within these 25 keys or two octaves on this little guy. So anyways, just wanted to give you a quick peek of the Nano Key 2. Definitely a, a really nice redesign and um, those of you interested in a low cost and small option for entering your virtual drumline music, give it a look.